All right, so uh, thank you. thanks everyone for joining. My name is Gavin Gear. I'm a technical evangelist on the Microsoft Imagine team. I'm joined by Varun Gupta. Varun, why don't you give us a quick introduction? Tell us what you're about here at Microsoft. Uh, I've been at Microsoft for 12 years and uh, I am a senior program manager at Microsoft. Um, and I work on mobile apps, technology that helps developers build awesome looking mobile apps using our platform. Cool, and you're on the .NET team and have been for a long time and work with uh, Xamarin, the company, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I've been on the team, .NET Visual Studio teams for almost 12 years now. Awesome, and today we're talking about a, an offer that students can take advantage of to get industrial strength mobile development tools for free while they're students, right? And if you were a professional developer, this is something you'd spend like, what, a few grand on, something like that? Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of fluid problem there. We'll keep rolling. <laughs> yeah, it's almost, uh, I think it's worth about $3,000, these tools, and, uh, you know, students can use them for free. Mm -hmm. um, and it's very hot in the market these days, creating native mobile apps. Yep. So this is a great offer for students. Yep. So developers obviously want to target mobile, right? That's where a lot of people are spending their time interacting with software. And there's multiple ways you can do it, right? You can write native apps. You can use cross-platform tools that do in runtime interpretation, like Apache Cordova. Xamarin is a little bit different. Tell me how tell me how Xamarin compares and contrasts with with some of those other approaches. Absolutely. So you know, Xamarin has been uh, based on is based on an open source technology that's been out there for almost ten years. Is that um, Mono? Yes. Yeah. The Mono project. Right. Um, so. Basically, what Xamarin does is it um, allows you to use C Sharp and uh, reuse your code across multiple platforms. So you're kind of in a simplistic way writing your app once mm -hmm. um, and you know tailoring the UI a little bit for different platforms. And then it does magic. I, I, you know, I call it magic sauce. Mm -hmm. It basically <laughs> converts your app to a native mm -hmm. app. So if you were using Xcode to create a native app uh, or Android Studio, um, you would get same native format at the end yeah. with Xamarin. And, and that's a unique capability, right? Because if you want to have a shared code base and you have something that's really performance sensitive, like a game with with you know maybe sensors as input and lots of motion, you know, high high resource utilization any delays any twitches are going to be a bad user experience this is where you know xamarin offers something unique that that runtime performance and the shared code base yeah absolutely like if you look at the um app stores like every app needs to be you know wants to be fast needs to look great right and but it's expensive to build apps come you know different times and multiple mm -hmm. times and with completely different tools for different platforms. Mm -hmm. It's very expensive. So thousands of companies, uh, hundreds of thousands of developers uh, have started using this approach in which they can use almost the same code and create apps for different mm -hmm. platforms. And apps look really great. Like for example, Mix Radio app. I mean, mm. radio is a big thing. You know, yep. every company is jumping oh, into yeah. it. You're, Mixed Radio needed that app to look really cool, mm -hmm. um, but they also wanted to get into market quickly. And they needed really good runtime performance as well, right? Being a streaming app, right? And 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 then and it has unique thing that I love, which is you can save your mixes onto your uh, drive. You can create mm -hmm. mixes uh, cool. just on your phone. Yeah. So um, and they do all of that with Xamarin, mm -hmm. and they got to market really quickly with it. Cool. Um, and then. You know, many such stories about customers using Xamarin to get to market quickly, but don't compromise on their yeah. performance. And I understand you've been hands-on with Xamarin. I'm just at the very early stages of getting started. I just, uh, we're coming live with a post on uh, Azure Mobile Apps, which is another offer that's free for students. Azure Mobile Apps offers Xamarin uh, on the client side. So I'm just about to get hands-on and create some apps with using Xamarin from scratch. Give us the 411, the start to finish in a minute or less of what that application development lifecycle looks like. Yeah, with with you know Xamarin, um, 
you get Visual Studio 2015. Mm -hmm. It has Xamarin um, in, in it. it. So basically, uh, you just go to Visual Studio, create a new Xamarin project, mm -hmm. and you will see Android folder, iOS folder, and a Windows folder. Mm -hmm. And at that point, uh, you can start writing your code in C Sharp. Okay, so let's say you're a student. You, you go to the Imagine Tools at dreamspark.com right now. You activate your student account. That gets you Xamarin for free, right? Exactly. Which is awesome. So then you install Visual Studio, even the Community Edition, right? Right. Check all the check boxes. Yes. Install it all. Then you're you're ready to rock and roll. Is, right. that, is exactly. that right? Okay. Exactly. I've already actually done that. That's kind of where I'm at right now. <laughs> so from there, let's say we're gonna let's write a super simple app, Activity Track or something like that. Here's here's what Vruin is doing right now. It's just gonna push that, you know, very simple UI. What, and you want to create an iOS app, uh, an Android app, and, and a Windows app. Tell me what you're going to do. Basically, I just go ahead and create um, a project in Visual Studio. And um, what I'll have is UI designers for Android, mm -hmm. um, iOS. What I'm going to do is draw the UI, okay. <laughs> how I want it to look like. Um, Which could just be what Varun is doing in a text field, right? <laughs> yeah, just that. Just that. <laughs> we all want to know what you're up to. <laughs> okay. Uh, and um, the idea is that after that, all the hookup for it, I write a shared file okay. in which I write all the code for connecting to web services mm -hmm. and things like to get my status. Maybe I'm, I would be lazy. I would just post to Twitter and want to update. <laughs> that works. Yeah, this is a V1. Sure. Uh, yeah, V1 thingy. So, yeah, so it's very straightforward that um, just the way, like, if I have to access a camera, I can just use a C Sharp API for it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't need to know, like, specifics, um, which platform. So, um, there is definitely, when I'm writing this app, let's say, contrast it with if. You just told me, okay, you need this app on iOS, Android, and Windows. Then I would be installing Xcode and writing mm -hmm. it, understanding how it works in mm -hmm. Xcode, then doing it with Android Studio, yep. right? But in this case, it's just one tool set, yep. one folder, uh, you know, multiple folders in there, and one shared file that kind of reused mm -hmm. the place. But the output is exactly the same. Yeah. We actually convert, Xamarin actually converts your C Sharp code to native code. I love that. Just yeah. flat out native and, code. And on a PC, you could deploy a Forms app locally and run it. You could uh, use Android Studio to and Simulator, I presume, to, to test your Android version. But then you're going to need, I understand, a Mac to actually use their simulator and do that final testing. But the nice thing is that's more like an additional activity than something that you're going to have to do from start to finish. Is that right? Yeah, but I would say... Mac is required in the sense that for simulator to work and for yeah. IDE. Uh, but the interesting thing is, uh, you know, you could use any crappy Mac or Mac Mini mm -hmm. out there mm -hmm. uh, because we just need it for some of the runtime stuff. Yeah, but you don't need that to get started. No, no, you can yeah. totally. The idea is you make something for Android and. Mm -hmm. um, most of it should just work on iOS. So let's talk about why students would want to get started with Xamarin. Talk to me about the opportunities related to Xamarin. Is there is there a big job market? Is this something that's a marketable skill? Oh geez, yeah. I mean, all the top companies in the world today are going mobile. Mm -hmm. um, you know, every company, like I, I was just reading yesterday, Facebook is making, more, a lot of their traffic is just coming from mobile. Yeah. So everybody is targeting mobile. Yep. And, um, all these large corporations or even smaller ones, startups, they don't want to spend a ton of money to hire three teams, two teams mm -hmm. to create these separate apps. So the opportunity is huge in the sense that there are thousands of companies that are using Xamarin today with Visual Studio. Yeah. And there are, uh, they have more than a million developers registered for it. Wow. So it's a huge job market. For students today, that's why we've made this free for students to use these tools so that they can be competitive in the job market. That uh, otherwise it's really expensive, right? For students yeah. to spend on the bank. I didn't have three grand when I was in school yeah. to spend on tools. So uh, 
that's why I think this opportunity is great. Market is hot right now for mm -hmm. this um, uh, native tool set, and Xamarin provides that. Yeah, I like I like the fact that it's industrial strength. You know, like open source. I've worked on open source projects, and they're they're just perfect for for certain applications. But you know, when you want something that's industrial strength, that's backed by a company like Xamarin and a company that's partnered closely with Microsoft. I mean, you, you work on that partnership firsthand, um, and you wanna use a powerful, expressive language like C Sharp and get basically all of the benefits I understand uh, at a high level that you get garbage collection, you know, all of the built-in types and that sort of a thing. You know, Xamarin is, is truly unique in that sense. So I think of it as a great tool to have in your tool belt, and that's, that's one of the reasons why I want to get you know down and dirty with it and and really understand it from the inside. Yeah, I think for for students, the way uh, you know when I talk to um, Fortune 500 customers, um, they are you know kind of taking a big shift um, into mobile and cloud, mm -hmm. and um, the idea for all of those like you know calls I'm on with customers. How do I get great looking mobile apps mm -hmm. quickly? Right. Um, and it's just insanely expensive to build through other native tools. Mm -hmm. So that's where I think for students it's so important that if they already are hands on with these tools, yep. uh, they have an excellent opportunity in the job market. Yep. And you know, there's always a right tool for the job. I think with Xamarin, you know, it's not for everything. There's a, there's always going to be those times when you're going to need to go all the way down to the, the bare metal and do a complete native app on each platform. But for the majority of apps, I think Xamarin is really a great fit because of, you know, that reduced time to market. Um, one thing I have a question about, though, that I was thinking about was, what about testing? Is the how are, are is there anything native to Xamarin that you're going to use for testing, and how do people do that? Yeah, before I get to that, <laughs> quick thing, Xamarin. One of the unique things is Xamarin, which we have done, is it has you a developer gets access to 100% of native APIs. There's no API okay. in an iOS yep. or an Android ecosystem that's not present on Xamarin. So you're not locked in. So you're not logged in. So, yeah. so when you're getting down and dirty, like you want to do some video stuff mm -hmm. or whatever, like you can do Core it. Core motion on iOS, for instance. You yeah, can do about that. whatever. So the statement is whatever you can do hmm. with an iOS device, yep. with an iOS APIs, you can do it with Xamarin. Which, if people are familiar with .NET, that's that's kind of how, how you roll with .NET, is you get all the high-level functionality and everything streamlined. If you need something specific, you can punch in you know, to, to Win32. So we're going to wrap up here shortly. Um, let's talk about testing real quick, though. Yeah, testing, uh, you know, testing mobile apps is an interesting scenario where you have so many mobile apps, types of mobile devices, um, and there's this matrix, mm -hmm. right, uh, you're trying to hit. So um, what I personally like is Xamarin Test Cloud mm. is awesome. Mm -hmm. Like um, if, if you're doing a, um, a very you know consumer centric and testing across a variety of devices is really important. Mm -hmm. It is pricey, mm -hmm. um, but um, that's like an awesome service. You can automatically run your tests wow. on different types of mobile devices automatically. I'm gonna have to and, check that out. <laughs> Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's expensive, but yeah. it's pretty cool. So we got to wrap up. If you guys want to know more about this offer, and if you want to know about, more about Xamarin specifically, my Twitter handle is at Gavin Gear. I'll be talking about this and tweeting about this. And this is at Varun Gupta Code. So, you know, if, if you want to follow along, if you want to ask us questions on Twitter, that's awesome. We can get you hooked up with all the resources. And thank you guys for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you.